Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, Andrew's back, and you know, we didn't have much of a winter, really, but it seems like yeah. some of the worst storms are coming in spring. Right, yeah, we had that uh, pretty sizable mm -hmm. snowstorm a couple weekends ago, bringing mm -hmm. over two feet to parts of our region. Now we have another pretty potent storm on the way. Certainly over one foot of snow is possible in a lot of our mountains. So yeah, it seems like uh, as we move into spring here, ironically, winter is making a little bit of a comeback. Here's the view of Storm Tracker right now. We have um, an area of low pressure basically between St. Louis and Cincinnati. There's some severe weather ongoing in the Ohio Valley today. This low pressure system will track though towards Michigan and the Great Lakes and that'll bring in quite a bit of warm air in the higher levels of the atmosphere. So that's why a lot of Wednesday ends up seeing kind of a mixed bag of all types of precipitation. It's not really till Wednesday night and during the day Thursday that we see some colder air and more widespread snow. But this is a look at the severe weather potential ongoing this afternoon, especially areas with that orange and red shading has the highest risk for some damaging wind, hail uh, and severe thunderstorms. So uh, certainly an active scene ongoing already right now, and that'll continue this afternoon. Meanwhile, here locally, though, northern areas especially have a good amount of sunshine. Clouds are starting to fill into southern Vermont and temperature wise. It's a pretty mild spring like feel out there, upper 40s to around 50. So the plan this afternoon is for clouds to be increasing from south to north, but we stay mainly dry even overnight. Tomorrow morning, we're still in good shape. Yes, there will be plenty of of clouds, but it's really as we head into the afternoon hours on Wednesday, we'll see a mixed bag of some wet snow, sleet, a little bit of freezing rain, some plain rain that'll be shifting in. And then as we look ahead to later Wednesday evening and especially the overnight, we'll make a flip over to all heavy wet snow. And then the snow will be with us uh, through Thursday morning pretty steadily. And then into Thursday afternoon, the snow looks to become a little more broken, but it does look like the toughest travel will be overnight Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And then we see some snow showers linger into Thursday night and a lot of the day Friday. Here's our call on snow totals. The highest amounts are in the highest elevation areas. We're looking at uh, 8 to 12 inches across a lot of the Adirondack Park. Could be over a foot for some of the summits like Marcy, Whiteface, Lion Mountain. Pretty good swath though of 4 to 8 for northern New York into the Champlain Valley, several inches, over four inches likely for Plattsburgh, St. Albans, down towards Burlington and Middlebury. Pretty good area, though, of 8 to 12 inches for central Vermont into the Northeast Kingdom. The highest terrain areas could pick up over a foot. And then southern Vermont, uh, as you head basically Route 7 and west, a little bit less in the lower elevation. Same goes for Brattleboro, but the higher terrain areas, 8 to 12 inches, could be locally over a foot. But because of that wintry mix with sleet, and some uh, downsloping winds. We could be talking closer to two feet in southern Vermont, but that'll be keeping our totals a bit restricted. In terms of the wind gust potential for all of us, it picks up late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Pretty good widespread potential for some gusts over 30 miles per hour, but it's really a uh, few localized areas like Rutland County as you look ahead to late Wednesday afternoon through Thursday morning. There could be some gusts 60 to 70 miles per hour or higher than that. Same goes for Bennington County. We're also watching Addison County for the damaging wind potential as well. So uh, several things we're tracking with this system. It is with us uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday though. We have some lingering rain and snow showers, not as big of a deal. And then Sunday and eclipse day, we're turning quieter, partly sunny skies, temperatures back into the 50s.